Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a bonus love reading for Capricorn. Hope you're well. This is a themed reading. Your next love interest, next connection, your next date. What are their first impressions? What are the first impressions of your next date, next love interest? What are their first impressions of you, Capricorn? There we go. Ooh, they may see you someone who rushes in and rushes out, a little indecisive. Yeah, they see you as someone kind of holding back. You need a little time to make up your mind. Yeah, you don't want to, they don't see you as someone who wants to rush into anything. <laughs> yeah, because maybe because you've had a painful ending. For though this reading's definitely going to be for people who've had some kind of ending that you're healing from. Yeah, so I see some temperance. I think this person, they actually see you as somebody who's pretty patient though. I feel as though they see you holding back, looking to see if they're a good fit or not. You're not going to rush into it. That's the way they see it. They see you as a thinker. They see you as somebody, yeah, they see you as somebody compatible though. Teamwork, yeah, they know you're waiting to see if they're a team player. You're on the same page if you're compatible, if they're compatible with you. Ooh, yeah, they know, yeah, they see you as sexy, attractive, passionate, very creative. Yeah, look at that creative energy. They like that. Yeah, look at that. They see the possibilities with you. I feel as though they see that you may be uh, healing from something that happened, some kind of painful ending, that you're not going to rush into anything. Okay, they also see you as someone who possibly needs a lot of rest. You work hard. Uh, you're very creative, very passionate. You may be creating something new. They see you as somebody. <laughs> wow, yeah, they see the possibilities. Yeah, I feel as though this person... They, this person knows that you're kind of testing them, that you're cautious, that you're patient, uh, that you're going to kind of pull back a little to see if they're on the same page. They get it. It's, I don't think it's an issue with them at all. Okay. But see, this is what they're thinking, how they feel about you, what their impressions are. You're not rushing into nothing. <laughs> no, they know you're not someone to surrender. Yeah, they don't see you as a quitter either. They actually see you as someone very creative, very hardworking, very passionate. They see you as somebody who um, doesn't give up on things very easily. Yeah, they see you as someone who can figure things out. This person thinks that you think they're a player, okay, that they're playing you. Uh, I do feel as though they know you're going to take time to figure things out to make sure they're not playing you. So this person's probably going to get you pretty well. I do think they're going to be patient with you. Okay, yeah, because they want to make sure, yeah, because you're not sure. You're not going to be sure. You're not rushing into something with someone because maybe they, yeah, they they know it, right, that you're not too sure about them. You're a little, you're not rushing into anything with anybody here, I feel. Now, this person's biggest impression, though, is that they're afraid you may reject them a little bit here, but I think it's more of that... Uh, patient energy that testing not so sure if someone's a good fit or not and that's okay right they know you want cooperation teamwork compromise yeah you're single you're gonna stay single you have everything you need your person could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius or a Virgo I see Sagittarius energy here is pretty strong yeah, this person knows yeah see they're gonna date you they're gonna take you out and I feel too they know that if they take you out, they have to get to know you. I also feel they will not surrender to that passionate energy till they figure out if you're not playing them, okay? They know that you're keeping an eye on them, that you'll stay single. They know you have plans for the future. You're focused on your money. You look really good. They find you really sexy and attractive. They see you as someone who dresses in a creative way. They like the way you dress. Uh, they see you as a planner, someone who takes care of their home. They see you maybe as a little bit of a loner, someone who keeps a lot of things to themselves. So you may not be sure about them. But I do see the uh, a little bit of a connection. They, they're definitely, they know that you're going to just sort of stay in the single mode until they're, you see if they're compatible, if you're on the same page, uh, if there's something here to create. I feel this is pretty positive. Yeah, I see dating, them taking you out. They're going to communicate with you. And you. this is the thing too, is this person wants to make sure Capricorn, um, they know that they, this one foot in the door and out energy isn't going to uh, fly because you won't surrender to that. 
because you're not going to be played. Yeah, they they got you. You're not rushing. <laughs> they know what's going on. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, you some of you have been hurt. And you've gone through a healing. I do feel this person sees you as somebody who does need to need their rest because you work a lot. You're very focused on creative energy on your creative energy. You need to have a clear head. I also feel as though this person all right, I had to silence my phone. I'm sorry, I was afraid it would keep going. Okay, so yeah, they see you as someone who needs to keep a clear head. They know that you're going to take time to figure them out to make sure they're not playing around, right? They, uh, they see you as somebody who... You are somebody who wants to win. Like you like to, you don't give up on things and that's the way they see you. They like that about you. That's very appealing to this person, okay? You're, not, you're no quitter. So let's see what's happening with the Four of Swords. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, so I see a lot of communication back and forth. Yeah, I actually feel this person, they, <laughs> they know you're not rushing into anything. Uh, they see you as someone single who's kind of happy doing what you're doing, but it's not like it's out of the question. You're just not sure. So they see you as someone who kind of holds back to make sure they're just right, they come in right, that you're a good fit. Or that they're a good fit, pardon me. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. Why is this here? Ten of Swords. There's two cards that want to come out. Yeah. So I feel as though this person's just going to give you some chance to wait to see how things go. They see you as someone who kind of is keeping their options open or still kind of looking. You're looking for the one. You're looking for someone perfect, right? Someone who's a good fit. You want a team player. Uh, compatibility is really important to you, Capricorn. They see that. They will talk to you about this. I do feel they are going to keep talking to you. They're not going to stop. Uh, I don't think this person's a quitter either. I don't think there's someone who's going to give up. Uh, they also are someone who, yeah, they've, they've kind of got you figured out, put it that way. Now, they see you as somebody who's looking for the one. You're just kind of still looking out there. Uh, they also see you as somebody who won't sit around and wait for too long. If they keep you waiting, they know they're going to think, um that you're gonna think they're that they're just playing around this person's pretty smart too i feel they have a lot of air in their chart yeah you're waiting for the one you're not offering your cup to anybody you're just gonna wait to see see how things go but they see you loving and nurturing and caring yeah they see you as someone who's been hurt they do they see you as someone who's had a tough time in love you're just you're not offering up that cup of love to anyone um yeah because they see you that way they are a little worried you'll reject them but i feel they're not going to give up they're going to come in and keep talking to you uh, they're going to let you know that they find you attractive uh, they'll share some feelings with you i don't think they're going to go overboard tell me about this let's do the temperance and then i'll do this other card tell me about temperance there we go yeah so you know right you've been hurt before capricorn you're not repeating mistakes of the past no so you're not too sure yeah they are you there's a communication going on between you're going to share your feelings with this person you're going to share a few emotions but this isn't about love this is about your own healing uh, you're going to let them know that you've had a tough time you need a little bit of time you don't want to repeat mistakes of the past okay yeah you don't want to get caught up in something with somebody um, and then have to reject them. I think you're very compassionate and they see you as somebody loving and compassionate. So it's, I do think they'll be patient. I think this person will wait for you to heal. I do. Uh, I think they'll continue to talk to you and share their feelings. Tell me about the four of cups. Yeah. So this is a thing. Yeah. So they are a little worried you'll reject them, but it's not going to stop them. Okay. They know they, cause you're, I feel you're going to tell them. And if you generally don't tell people you will tell them and then just kind of wait to see how things go i feel you're pretty you're i think you like this person you you're kind of ready for love but you just have a little bit uh you just need to see how it goes yeah so yeah there is definitely some chemistry here yeah i feel as though they are worried you may reject them for somebody else they see you as somebody look at that teamwork cooperation they see that compatibility uh, they know that you're looking for somebody who is the one a special bond and connection 
Okay, they find you appealing. I don't think you're going to be afraid to tell them, you know, that you find them appealing, attractive. You're very cautious. You're not going to surrender to the passion. I think you're going to let them know you've made mistakes like that before, only to be hurt. So, yeah, I feel, and if you aren't normally somebody who does that, because a Capricorn will sometimes and sometimes will not, uh, generally like to stick to yourself, concentrate on money. A lot of times, very much a homebody. They see you as a homebody. They see you as a good fit, though. And I think that they get kind of what you're looking for, or what you want. Spirit's telling you to share that with this person. I don't think they'll mind waiting for you. I don't. I feel as though this person will just wait and see how things go. They're going to let you finish healing until you're finished. You may have pretty much be healed and over it. You just don't want to start over doing things the wrong way you're being careful you don't really want to miss an opportunity and i don't think this person wants to miss an opportunity to be with you so i do think they will be patient and wait uh, for you to give them that go ahead so wow tell me about the ace of wands look at that yeah so they are a little worried you'll leave them out in the cold that maybe you'll think they're not good enough uh, or maybe that you're like that that you know i i think this person sees you as somebody who's you're definitely looking for somebody who treats you properly you want that bond you don't want someone who leaves you out in the cold that keeps you waiting you may tell this person that uh, that you don't sit around really and wait for people you just kind of do your own thing i do think you are very much in single mode i do think you're open to love you're just you may be even rejecting other people because they come towards you in the wrong way they want that physical so I do feel some of you are kind of lonely. I feel as though this person feels that you'll leave them out in the cold and maybe ignore them, okay, as well. For another person, that's how they're going to kind of take it when you tell them that. So watch how you express this to them, okay? Because, But they, you know, they really, for the most part, see you as loving and compassionate, kind. Someone who's emotionally available. Someone who knows how to make themselves happy. Like, you're not going to rush into anything because you want that emotional fulfillment. And uh, so your overall happiness is really important to you. So you're not someone to just jump into anything. So that's going to kind of get them. They're, things are going to roll around in their head. They're going to think about it and feel like you're rejecting them for a while. Feel like they've missed an opportunity. Um, it's also telling you to be careful so you don't miss an opportunity with this person. Yeah, see? Yeah, they're worried that you're going to be ignoring them for someone else. <laughs> when you say that, they may... <laughs> yeah, they're going to have that impression. But that's okay. You can, Yeah, that you've walked away for some, from them. Yeah. Seven of Cups. There we go. Whoops. Nope. Seven of Cups. Why is this here for Capricorn and their person's first impressions? Yeah, so they are soul searching. They could be a Virgo. I feel as though this person's soul searching, maybe checking you out on social media to see if you've walked away. They're going to take some time and uh, contemplate the situation. They see the possibilities. They may start wondering if you have somebody else. Yeah, if you've met another person, if you have other options. This person's not going to give up on you, but they also see you as someone who doesn't surrender easily. Uh, they have to, yeah, you don't give up on things. Like, you figure stuff out. You know. This person knows that you're basically, maybe they are somebody who wants to just connect physically. And maybe that's what they're worried. Maybe they know that you know or something. So just watch this person that comes in. Some of you may actually have a choice between two people. You may walk away from one this year because you figure out they're a player. And they know that you know. Okay. Uh, some of you will meet somebody else as well. You could walk away from a Gemini. Uh, move towards a Virgo possibly. Uh, I feel with the lovers you've got a choice here. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, you're focused on the future. You're focused on your money. You're being practical and realistic. You're in your head. You're looking into the future. You know what you want. And I feel like anyone who comes towards you, you're going to have this kind of outlook. You are focused on yourself. 
Yeah. You want something easy. You don't want someone who's a player. You see, you want something sweet and innocent. You want something easy. This is the easy card, you know. When you're young and you meet someone, it's just easy. You just share feelings. You do nice for things for each other. It's just easy. I feel like there's something about this person, one of them anyway. You may have a, another crush that you're thinking about as well. You may have somebody who has another person who has a crush on you. You may focus on that person. I think the person that is coming towards you, boy, the person that's coming towards you, I have a funny feeling. They feel left out. Yeah, they're, I think you are going to ignore somebody here that comes in. You want love. You want, you're looking out for you. And I like that because that's the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles looks out for themselves. You're in looking into the future. You're focused on something else, a different kind of love. Uh, or you have someone that you're crushing on or is crushing on you that you're focused on. Yeah, you want your wish come true. You know what you want, right? Yeah, and you're focused on that. I, I think you're going to move away from this one person. It could go either way, though. You have a choice here, possibly between two. You have a somebody that's got this... This is someone with one foot in the door and out, quite possibly, too. And this is why you're in the energy. This person knows it, too. Uh, they're pretty clever. Okay, this person's pretty clever. I do think it's possible you're going to let them go. Or maybe they feel like you are because you're leaving them waiting and you're not telling them, sharing any feelings with them. It's quite possible, too. It doesn't feel like this heavy, heavy energy. It just feels like they're in their head a lot thinking maybe they did something they shouldn't have done, why you rejected them. They're going to be in their head and then they're going to start to think you've moved on to someone. And it may not be the case. This could be all up in the head, right? This is cerebral energy. This is somebody who's trapped in their head, trapped in their thoughts, uh, worried you're rejecting them for someone else. I see a Sag energy. I see a Virgo energy for some of you. Yeah, they're looking to see if you have other options. They're contemplating whether you do or not. So yeah, I see some regrets, remorse, a little bit of stress here. And it could be you not wanting to make the wrong choice. You don't want to make mistakes of the past. So yeah, you want to make sure. You will ghost anybody who comes towards you just looking for that physical connection. I feel you will. Uh, someone here definitely... Uh, feels lonely you might be actually thinking of looking for the one some of you may be just keeping your options open looking for a special person but I do see healing I think you know you want emotional fulfillment you're not rushing into nothing yeah you've got a choice I think your choice is to focus on uh, the future making plans you want an easy kind of love you want someone who's sweet and kind you want your wish come true that's what you're focused on you may actually have somebody you could have a virgo that's watching you to see you might walk away from a gemini and move towards this person or they're going to come towards you tell me about this hermit it could be anyone let's see who it is who's this hermit who is this hermit so somebody coming towards you. Yeah, someone's focused on you. They wonder if you have other options. They see the possibilities that you may. They could be at a distance. I feel this person's learning when they learn what they need. See, they're looking for answers, looking for information. They're going to come towards you. Ooh, this could be your person. And so it looks like you could be not wanting to repeat or being a little bit worried about somebody here who is a possible Gemini. It could be somebody who hurt you, actually. Tell me about the lovers. Let's see where this is going. Let me get these cards for it. Tell me about this lovers. What's going on with the lovers? This, oops, I'll just grab that. All right, tell me about the lovers. There we go, yeah. So you have somebody here. Yeah, there's that energy. Did I see a Sag energy here? Yeah, there was somebody with a Sag energy. Doesn't have to be Aries, Leo. Yeah, you've got someone here who's very focused on the passion. Yeah, you're not doing it. So you're walking away from someone. You may meet this person and ghost them. In fact, you may go out on a date and you may literally walk away <laughs> because they're focused on the passion too much. You don't want that. You are looking for a leader, but you don't want somebody who's only interested in you in that. So that looks like person number one. I see somebody coming towards you very quickly. Uh, you're holding back. Yeah, you're going to... 
I think you're going to keep your options open. Something is going to tell you here to do that, okay? Yeah, I don't think you're going to go for this person. Yeah, you want somebody who's just right. This person's not right for you. Uh, they're not coming towards you in the right way. You're looking for the one, somebody who's a better fit. So there's your person. It could be a Virgo. It could be a uh, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. Um, they could have Libra in their chart. Yeah, you want someone who brings balance into your life. Yeah, you're going to let this person go. They don't come in right. So that's not going to go anywhere. Uh, some of you are on dating sites or you're just going out to meet new people. Uh, if you're lonely, it's telling you go out and meet people. Okay, just go out and socialize. Go for a walk. Okay, out in nature, walk on the beach, whatever it is. You might actually meet this other person. I think you got someone checking you out on social media. I think you got somebody who's interested in you, actually, and they see you as somebody who, they're keeping an eyeball on you. Let me tell you, if you aren't on social media, this is someone who's in your community, in your social circle. They may be waiting for you to walk away from someone if you meet one person this year. In the next while here, six or eight months, this could take for this whole thing to play out. doesn't have to be. Yeah, you want love. You want something easy. Yeah, you're figuring somebody out that's a player here, and you're going to walk away from them. You're going for someone that definitely, uh, and someone knows it too. They, that's why I say they may have heard some gossip. They may travel in your social circle, or they're scoping you out on social media, or there's somebody that, um, you may have met a few people, actually, if you've been lonely and going out to meet people. You may have had a couple people. A first person coming towards you definitely doesn't come in right. They don't focus right. They're all about that passionate connection. You're look, you know, Capricorn, you have an energy. You, you, you like to look into the future. You're grounded. You're realistic. You just want, sometimes you just want someone to be a companion first. And I don't feel like you're going to surrender to anybody too easily till you figure out Okay, if they have sweet feelings, if they're going to do sweet things for you. If they don't, I feel, yeah, you'll just continue doing what you're doing. But I see a special person. Yeah, you're holding yourself in high regard. You're focused on money, your abundance, creativity. You got a lot of good things going for you this year. Some of you may be creating something new, a new business, a new job that's bringing you more money. You want love. You want something simple. You don't want something complicated. You don't want to have to sit and worry if someone's sneaking around, cheating on you. Uh, and I feel like that's this person. It's like, yeah. I, and I feel like this is you too. Like you feel like there could be an ex that comes back around too and you let you walk away. But it, it just feels more like uh, you're going to be in your head. It's going to feel like you're making a mistake. You're waiting for the one. You want someone who's just right, someone who's a team player, a partner, a companion, someone to work with, someone who's on the same page. So tell me about this. Yeah, you got a new crush. Maybe somebody's trying to figure out if you got a new crush, if you if they know you walked away. They may have heard some gossip <laughs> that you walked away from someone. Yeah. Might not have played out yet. Tell me about this energy. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, you want that soulmate connection. You want something sweet, something easy. Just friends first, maybe, until you figure out if they're, you know, if this person's safe, if there's a future with them. Uh, you're holding yourself in high regard. You want to make sure they do. You know, you're not settling for just one cup and nothing more. Uh, you want the full meal deal here. Otherwise, you're just going to stay single. That's what I feel. Uh, you got a lot to focus on. I feel you're just grounded. I don't think, yeah, you, things are going in your favor financially this year. I feel you're going to do well. There's a new cycle beginning, an old one ending. I do feel like you are. You could have a reconciliation with someone who's seeing you go through this. It could have been somebody here that uh, you're holding back from or they were indecisive about coming and sharing their feelings. You may have moved toward another person may have entered the scene, but you're walking away from them. And then this other person's coming back towards you. I see some truth. I see success. And I see a victory. Yeah, you're going to cut one person out for another. 
could be a new crush. It could be just someone who's watching you that's a crush that's never really come towards you to tell you as well, right? But they see you as someone who communicates well, passionate, creative, hardworking, uh, definitely sexy. They see you as somebody who's somewhat social, but not overly. Uh, you go socialize just when you're a bit lonely. I feel, yeah. You're a workaholic, I feel, some of you. You always feel like you don't have enough money, but you do. So that's a uh, tip. Very typical. Yeah, this is good. You have a whole new cycle. Things are going uh, in your favor. I feel you have definitely a very sweet love. It's very innocent. It's easy. It's a lovely connection. Friends first, probably. I see success. Yeah, I see this moving forward. I see change coming. Yeah, so I do think you got somebody who's coming towards you. Once they know that you're single, uh, maybe... They're trying to find out if you have other options if you're seeing anybody because they know you've walked away. So it's obviously someone in your social circle or they're scoping you out in social media or either in your neighborhood or they hang out where you hang out or someone you met in the past. So interesting enough. Let's see what the outcome is. I see change. I see a truth. I see success. Uh, I see something really nice. Kind of friends first, I think. Yeah, it's a little bit of a miracle. I feel there's a miracle going to happen. <laughs> Maybe you feel like it's going to take a miracle. I think it's the person here. Uh, whoever they are, they find you very appealing, uh, very sexy. You know, they see all your lovely qualities and they focus on that. And it's quite possible that they feel like it'll take a miracle that you don't have other options or someone else. It maybe have been some time. All right. They are planning on coming around towards you. But I feel this is more like just waiting to see how things go. Friends first. Get along together. Yeah, this is a crush that's going to go somewhere, I feel. And I think you got a crush, yeah. I see success. Somebody's focused on you. They want success. They want to make sure they have the information they need. They're scoping you out, soul searching, gathering information. They want to get to know you. Yeah, they can't move forward till they know a little bit more, whether you have other options. They certainly know there's the possibility. Uh, there's a lot of abundance that you have a lot going on. Uh, they see you as this wheel of fortune energy. So that's very cool. So yeah, there's trust. You may have some trust issues here. So this is why too, like you may have somebody who comes around, even an ex, and you're like, you're not going to repeat this with this person. You're going to walk away. Or there's somebody who comes in that reminds you of an ex or there's something not right about them. You feel like they're a player because of the way they communicate. Uh, they may try to push you towards that passionate connection very quickly. And I think you'll just ghost them. You literally could meet this person just in a uh, coffee shop, a bar, a pub, wherever it is, somewhere out in the community and literally just get up and walk away. <laughs> okay. I feel there may have been some gossip. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to have to take a risk. Yeah, I think it's the person coming towards you that's going to take a risk to come towards you. They may not be able to find out everything they need to know and have to take that little bit of a leap, hoping things will go in their favor. They're good. Things are going in your favor this year, yeah. You are in protective mode, yeah. You're not just diving into anything. You're not rushing into anything. You want to be happy because you're in a happy place right now. You're not risking your emotional happiness. You're, you're very grounded. You kind of feel like you're in a good place. But you do want love. Yeah, so this is protection. You feel a bit protective maybe of your money. I feel somebody's holding on here. They're kind of, as they learn what they need, they're headed your way. They're gaining the strength and the confidence to come in. Uh, and I do, I don't feel like they're, this person lacks confidence. Whoever they are, I feel like they have earth in their chart. I feel like they're planning to talk to you. I do feel that they are somebody who is just gaining that courage. You are going to have to be brave here too. Uh, I feel because of some past energy, there's an, something that happened, an ending. That's where this is going to get tricky, is this person that comes in with the wrong energy. You may get caught up in that a little bit and then decide to uh, walk away and be done with it and just meet someone new. If you're not getting emotionally fulfilled from somebody, even on a first date, because it could be just that, and you'll just be like, no, this isn't going anywhere. So it's just going with the flow. See where things go with the next person. I just want to see who they could be. Who is this person? Who's the hermit? Who's this hermit? Oops. 
They could be a Pisces, someone watching you secretly, keeping things to themselves. Okay, there you go. More on this hermit. Who is this hermit? Oh, they may have Sag in their chart too. Their balance, this is someone who's holding back, making sure they're, this is somebody patient. They're waiting patiently to come towards you. Um, they could have Pisces, Earth energy or Virgo, gathering up info, whether you have other possibilities. Other options, yeah, they're waiting patiently for the right time. They're kind of pulling back, keeping things to themselves. But this person, once they have everything they need to know about you, here they come. <laughs> yeah, so somebody who's, oh my gosh, yeah, so someone who's emotionally available, ready for love, they'll make you a solid offer. They're just waiting for the right time. Uh, be patient for this person, okay? Uh, I feel as though you're going to need to temper yourself. They certainly are going to temper themselves. Uh, this is somebody who knows they need to be emotionally available, make you a solid offer. I see some dating, being friends, getting to know each other, going with the flow, and a lot of success. Beautiful. Okay, go with the flow. I feel like this is going to uh, go very well. This person who's scoping you out definitely wants that energy as well. But they're loved up and ready. Uh, I think this could be your person. So, bit of a journey this year. Wish you the best. All right. Think positive. Remember to walk away from the ones that don't come in. Don't waste time. I don't see you wasting time for people who um, focus on you that way. All right. Take care. Bye for now.